Welcome back to Decaf Math, and welcome if you are new here. I hope that you're doing very well. So today, let's give um, a proof a try. It's a pretty simple statement, but the proof can be kind of complicated. So we're going to try it using both algebra and some concepts from calculus, okay? So as usual, if you've never learned this stuff or you feel a little bit of a little bit rusty, don't worry. Um, just let it kind of wash around you. And if you get really, really confused, just remember, I love you, I love you, I love you. So no worries and no stress here, okay? And more importantly, if you enjoy these proofs, Feel free to share them with your friends um, and family, okay? Okay, so we are going to prove that 0 equals 1, okay? Seems simple enough, but um, we just kind of need to remember the two methods to do this. Okay, so let's start with the algebra way and just take this step by step. Um, so first, let's let a equal b. So we have two variables and whatever they are, they're equal to each other, okay? So those are just sort of placeholders. And I'm just going to multiply by a on both sides. So a times a equals b times a which I can do because of this equal sign. So it has to stay balanced. So that means I get a times a is a squared, and then uh, equals b times a, and because I have two variables, I can smush them together, right? Okay, so now I'm going to um, subtract b squared on both sides. So we get a squared minus b squared equals b a minus b squared. Cool. And then we have on this side a difference of squares. So do you remember how to factor differences of squares? It's a special case. So a minus b times a plus b. Okay, so that's just factoring this left side. And then on this side, I can factor, right? I can factor out a b. So, a minus b. Cool. And then, this is where it gets kind of complicated, but um, to remember that you subtract by b squared and then you factor. But it's important because now I can cancel out the a minus b's on both sides, right? Cool. So then we get a plus b equals b. So you can either just think of it as dividing by a minus b on both sides, and then they cancel to be 1, right? And anything times 1 is itself. Or you can see that it's on both sides, so you can cancel it equally. And then so I get left with a plus b equals b. But since we know from the beginning of our, you know, our very first statement, our first line, since a equals b, I can just substitute, right? a equals b, so a is b, so b plus b equals b. So, or I could substitute a plus a equals a, but b plus b equals b. And b plus b is 2b, and then equals b, just combining those two terms. And so then I'm going to cancel out the two b's, right? Cancel out. Or I can just think of it as moving b over to this side by dividing, and b over b is 1. And I'm left with this 1 here, So because b is 1 times b, right? So I get 2 equals 1 no problem, and then 
subtract 1 on both sides. So 2 minus 1, I hope you can see that, equals 1 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1 equals, and then 1 minus 1 equals 0. And so 1 equals 0, so 0 equals 1 based on the reflexivity of the equal sign. So no problem. Q-E-D. That's it, right? Isn't that pretty cool? So it's not too bad. I mean, I know there are a few steps here, but really you just need to remember a few key points here and then just really work out the algebra, right? Like factoring and stuff and remembering to cancel stuff, right? No problem. Okay, so let's try this with a concept from calculus, um, which is series. So we're talking about infinite series, not siri, <laughs> series, right? And series are just basically sums, so um, just we can talk about terms of a sequence of numbers, right? But if we add them together, it makes up a series. And we study series is series is is, is in calculus. Um, so let's try that concept. So again, we're gonna try and prove zero equals one. So we'll start with zero and actually write that as an infinite series. So zero plus zero plus zero. So sums, right? Meaning adding zero plus dot 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 to infinity. Okay, so zero, 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 zero. And since we want to introduce ones here, right? So I'm gonna write zero as one minus one, which is one minus one is zero, cool. So, 1 minus 1, plus 1 minus 1, plus dot dot dot. So each of these zeros is going to be 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Okay, just substituting that in. And then, since we have minus and plus here, we don't really need parentheses. We only kind of need that if we're multiplying these terms. So these parentheses can kind of go away. And I'm actually going to regroup the terms. So basically I can do this 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 to infinity, right? So I'm just taking out these parentheses. But I'm actually going to sort of regroup them so that I have this minus 1 plus 1, this minus 1 plus 1, you see that? So I'm pairing them up, keeping that first one and then pairing these up, right? So um, since addition, I can do this minus 1 plus 1, but I can switch that over to 1 minus 1, since addition in general is commutative, meaning I can switch the order, a plus b, number it. Um, addition is commutative, usually. So I can do a plus b equals b plus a, right? So I can rewrite this as 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1. So I can just do 1 plus, and then 1 minus 1, plus 1 minus 1, plus 1 minus 1 dot 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 to infinity, right? To infinity. So, since I rearranged those terms, my 1 minus 1 goes to 0, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, and since the zeros go off to infinity, I can just keep pairing stuff like that, right? So, all of these terms will just go to 0. So, then we have 1, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus dot dot dot. And all those zeros, of course, is zero, so we just are left with that one at the end. So we started with zero, wrote out the infinite series, and then regrouped, and then kept that first term, and everything else goes back to zero. 
and we get a 1. So that's it. We just proved QED again, just to end the proof. And this one's pretty cute, right? Isn't this kind of fun? Just rearranging stuff. So, cute, cute. So we have two cute little proofs for 0 equals 1. And, well, I had a lot of fun. And I hope that you did too. And I will see you very, very soon. And of course, if any of this confused you or tripped you up, don't worry about it. Don't worry to you too much, okay? Alright, I'm sending you all my love. Bye!